an impressive fortune, nine different people to split it between. Some are still on the big screen, others are living a quieter life. Who did Michael Landon give his inheritance to, and how much? Keep watching to find out. Michael Landon was, of course, a beloved actor famous for portraying Charles Ingalls on the popular TV series Little House on the Prairie and Joe Cartwright on Bonanza. Despite his lovable persona, he had his career cut short. Look, it's not, not my point. career on a line tonight, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> In 1991, he was diagnosed with aggressive cancer of the pancreas and liver. He died just three months after the diagnosis, at the age of 54, surrounded by family. In an interview with People, Landon's son, Christopher Bow, had his remembrance about his dad towards the end of his life, saying, I was the father, and he was the son. I had to help him up the stairs. As the family was grappling with Michael's rapid decline, the actor himself was settling his estate, working for decades not only as a Hollywood actor, but as a writer and producer. Michael Landon had amassed an impressive fortune, so it was important to him to divide his wealth fairly between his nine children. Let's break down each of his children and where they are now, one by one. They've been a lucky guy. Very lucky guy. As it turns out, four of Michael Landon's children have chosen careers in show business. Oldest son, Mark Frazier Landon, had an acting career before dying in 2009. Michael Landon Jr. is a TV producer and director, known for his Hallmark miniseries, When Calls the Heart. Christopher Bow Landon writes and directs movies, including Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones, Happy Death Day, and Freaky. According to IMDb, Christopher Bow Landon gave his explanation for his decision to work behind the scenes. I'm not interested in acting. I've spent too much of my life sort of in front of people, and not by choice. However, acting is just what Jennifer Rachel Landon chose to do. She is a three-time Emmy-winning actress on the series As the World Turns and, as of 2022, plays Teeter on Yellowstone. What's your name? Tyre. What's that? Hey, her. Jennifer, who was seven when she learned her father had cancer, admitted to having complicated feelings about watching reruns of his shows. According to IMDb, Jennifer said, Sometimes if I'm feeling sad, I'll be like, I need a dose of dad. I can't watch the show at all. I'm like, Dad can't see me like this, as if he can see me through the TV. Not much is known about the life of adopted son, Josh Frazier Landon, who has managed to stay out of the limelight according to Wide Open Country. Michael Landon's oldest daughter, Cheryl Landon Wilson, published a book in 1992 titled I Promised My Dad, detailing what it was like growing up in the Landon family. Second daughter, Leslie Ann Landon, played Etta Plum on Little House on the Prairie before leaving show business and is now a clinical psychologist. According to IMDb, Leslie's daughter, Rachel Matthews, made a return to acting. She appeared in Happy Death Day, directed by Christopher Landon, and voiced a role in Frozen 2. Two of Michael Landon's children circumvented show business entirely to work in real estate. Shauna Lee Landon is a Los Angeles realtor who enjoys sharing family pictures on her Instagram account. Sean Matthew Landon, the youngest of the Landon children, owns his own real estate business. Michael Landon's nine children were from three marriages, and two of them were adopted. About his two adopted sons, Landon told People magazine in 1991, They're my sons. Period. Not my adopted sons. They're my sons, and I'm their father until they die, or I die. Even though the illness came on quickly, Michael Landon had time to prepare financially for his death, according to People magazine. He arranged to leave each of his nine children between $8 million and $10 million, and preemptively discouraged fighting among them. With the aid of staff, Landon recorded a videotape of himself explaining that any heir who contested the will would forfeit his or her portion of it. As Landon's widow, Cindy Landon, told People in 1992, the kids respect his decision. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.